Good morning, welcome to episode 302. I keep wanting to say 200. It's such a hard habit to break. It is Saturday, Maddie's got her last basketball game today, so I'm rushing out of the house to get there. It is gonna be an amazing day, guys. We do have a lot going on. I absolutely want to fly the racing drone today. Looking forward to that. Let's see, basketball, I've got some showings. I've gotta get with a client on an offer, but right now I've gotta to get to this basketball game. So uh, let's buckle up and have a great day. Yeah. All right, so Maddie had her last ball game. She had two baskets, so good job, Maddie. Callie has read two books today, which is kind of ridiculous. No, I've read one and a half. One and a half books. But apparently, pirates don't wear pink sunglasses. And witches don't do backflips. Says who? After Maddie's game, they had a little pizza party, so it was yummy, but my stomach feels terrible. It was a carbohydrate explosion. I've got to take care of quite a bit of work this afternoon and I've got a showing at four, but I'm hoping to find some time to go fly the tiny helicopter, get that taken care of. We also, we've got a situation going on right now where we had a house listed a year ago or so and we went in and took our professional photography. I spent hours drawing the floor plan. Today, we noticed that an agent from Jefferson City, it's a house that's 20 minutes north of Moberly. Why is someone in Jefferson City listing this house anyway? It's ridiculous, but the nerve of these people, they used our photos and our floor plan for the listing, which is highly illegal. I emailed the agent and told them to remove it. If they don't, I'll be taking some legal action because uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Most agents that do as much prep work for a listing as we do with the professional photography and the floor plans, they charge an upfront marketing fee and we don't do any of that. So if a house doesn't sell, could have sold this one, actually had a contingency offer when it expired. But anyway, if a house doesn't sell, we don't get paid. So if the listing expires, your next agent isn't about to use my materials to market the house. It takes a lot of time and money, so. How rude. Yeah. All right, let's hit the road and get home. All right, home from the pizza party. I feel like crap. Working on the 3D printer a little bit real quick. So hopefully I can get a print started, but um, essentially one of my screws that connects the bed to the frame stripped out. So I have the Dremel tool. I gotta try to get this screw out of there and figure this sucker out. So yeah. the other night I started a print. I was gonna print a cup holder. This is as far as it got. When I got to it the next morning, this was connected to the extruder. Definitely some sort of fail. That's a lot of PLA. <laughs> Here's this stupid little screw right there. Let's see if we can get it dremeled out of there. So I got it going. It ended up taking a lot longer than I anticipated, but I think I got the bed level. I'm doing a print. I'm printing another one of these fan ducts because it got PLA all over it from that failed print. So hopefully it'll look better this time too than it did before. I'm gonna go upstairs, chat with the girls a bit, and then uh, try to get out and fly the drone. So let's do it. All right. So I got everything packed up. Drone stuff is all in the car. I just got a call from Christy. Right now it's about three o'clock. I'm showing a house at four. Christy's showing a house at 3.15, but she's running behind. So I'm gonna go show the house for her at 3.15, which means I'm not gonna be able to fly the drone until after my four o'clock showing. Should be plenty of light left, but 
which is kind of disappointing. So um, I have just a couple minutes before the 315 appointment. So I'm gonna stop and get gas and grab some to drink. But let's do it. All right, just finished up with my showing in Clark. Now I'm on to Operation Find a Spot to Fly the Drone. So, kind of moseying around Clark a little bit. There's that park, but the water tower that'd be fun to fly around is all within a barbed wire fence. So if I wipe out, there wouldn't be an easy way to get my drone back. So let's uh, drive around until we find a spot to fly, as I said. All right, this is uh, Central Christian College of the Bible. They have this nice big lawn area with a bunch of trees and stuff. I think I'm gonna try to fly here. So, should be pretty cool. Let's do it. GoPro came off the quad again. Um, this is a fresh battery and I know it'll fly without it. So I'm gonna spend the rest of this time flying for my own enjoyment. <laughs> I don't wanna waste some battery on not having a GoPro, but I don't wanna take the time and the sunlight to attach this sucker back to the quad. So I'm gonna do some more flying. <laughs> the good news is I'm having a lot of fun. Let's do it. Gosh, it flies so much different without that GoPro on it. I hit a tree. <laughs> was absolutely amazeballs. I don't know if you guys saw the flying I did just then. This is a fun place to fly, especially when it's deserted like this. A lot of trees to go up and over. The quad without the GoPro, that split S thing is actually a lot harder to do without the GoPro because you don't have as much mass to carry you over the object. But for any of you guys out there that fly with the Naze 32 board and Betaflight, if you know what's going on with that twitching, I'd really appreciate that. I don't know. I've got stock PIDs. I did mess with the rates a little bit. Yeah, any help there would be greatly appreciated. I don't know. When I would give it throttle, like a lot of throttle, it would smooth out. If I gave it no throttle, it would smooth out. But anytime I was kind of trying to hover or stay steady, it would, it like, jerk. So, so since the girls are at a sleepover, Kristen and I are going to have another date night. Let's do it. Ugh.
All right, we are home for the night. Apparently, I literally filled up an entire 64 gig card with the GoPro today. I didn't realize I got that much footage, but apparently I did. So that's why the windshield stuff kind of stopped abruptly. But I picked up Christy at her office, and then we went to find a Redbox movie. But I'm gonna tell you, like, there's not a lot of good movies out at the moment, so it's kind of disappointing. Nothing good in the theater to see. Nothing on the Redbox really interested me. So we're gonna try to find a movie to watch on Apple TV and relax tonight. We're gonna sit down and eat a quiet dinner. We got walked in the house, it was super quiet, just kind of missing the girls. I am pretty pumped up about the quadcopter thing. I need to figure out why it's like twitching. Fun stuff, guys. It's been an amazing day. It's pretty busy right now, but a ton of fun. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. It does mean the world to me. Do me the hugest favor. Share, subscribe, comment, and you know what I'm saying. Hit that big old thumbs up if you think we deserve it, and we will absolutely see you tomorrow on Yep. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the end card and hang around for this long. How to find us if you have questions about real estate's below. Um, remember, we are real estate agents. If you need help buying or selling, I'm just gonna say anywhere in Missouri, give us a call. We would love to help you. If you're in a different area, different state, wherever you are, if you're thinking about buying or selling and you don't know what real estate agent you'd like to use, we've got this amazing service. Go ahead and send us an email at the address below. And what we can do is we can connect you with the best agent in your area. We understand this business. I know you guys think we're in the vlogging business, but we are absolutely in the real estate business. We sell gobs of houses. We helped 102 different people sell and buy houses last year, and we would love to get you on the road to owning your own home. So be sure and click that. Remember, if you've made it this far, right up here to your right, you click there if you wanna see yesterday's episode. Uh, right down here, you can click if you wanna subscribe. You should definitely do that. And that's it, guys. We absolutely look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Life in the Ha, ha, ha.